Now, town manager. Regular wages, part-time wages, et cetera, for the town manager in his office. A 5.91% increase. The request is 288487 Move. Moved by Mr. LeBranch, seconded by Mr. Henderson. Okay, Fred, there you go. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> The only real increase that I see is in the regular wages. That's correct. There are no increases at all other than that. That's what the selectmen voted to do. So I did pass out a sheet initially that showed the raises that were granted effective April 1st of this year. So you have the list. And I think Christy brought in an additional list. So you should have all of that in the, the mess yeah. of paperwork that was handed out to you. Okay, questions on the town manager's account? Appearing to be none. I do have one question now that you mentioned it. I noticed that the town manager's salary is going to increase, and the default appears to be right from what I've heard. But my question is, is this coming, are these raises um, going to, all people also going to get raises out of the merit uh, uh, line item? No. Not those positions are not included on the merit line. They're not the town manager and the assistant town manager are not included on the merit line. So, well, is that the only people who are not in it? Um, mayor, for non-union, uh, no. The you have the merit raise list. The town clerk, the tax collector, conservation, conservation. All those ones that you've already discussed tonight that were actually had increases in their budget of like two and three percent, I think. Yeah. Those are not included on the merit line. Nor is the town manager or the assistant right. town manager. That is why the board chose. It's my understanding that's why the Board of Selectmen chose to include an increase in this budget that you were just speaking of, Mike. Right. Thank you. Find your list that I passed out because it's. Well, that it doesn't shows. tell him, that doesn't answer his question. No. Yeah. Well, it shows that the town manager is not included on that sure. raise list and so forth. Okay, are you ready for the vote on the <coughs> town manager's budget? No. Um, <coughs> no. Tim, wait a minute. I'll get you in a minute, Dave. <coughs> I'm not sure when it's ever going to be top, topical, Crystal, but uh, the merit pay was brought up. And I am confused at how that is being utilized. I have been for some years. Remember, Jenny, a few years ago, we had quite a, quite a go around the topic of merit pay <laughs> as a concept right. uh, in, in the budget. And things have, in my opinion, since a conversation we had at, at a budget committee meeting, the situation is exacerbated in terms of confusion. If you watch the uh, recent Board of Selectmen's meeting, they, they targeted a number of pay raises for the 2017 budget. Some or none of them actually went into the merit pay line, right? And, and so there, there is the additional cloud of confusion to, to cite a famous song from the 60s. You're getting yourself. <laughs> I'm getting old enough, but I don't give a damn, Fred. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, the Budget Committee Chair and the Budget Committee members and yourself would be amenable to giving us a, uh, a separate discussion on just what is and is not and why it is or is not in the merit pay and why we should continue to sustain uh, the merit pay line item when it's being used as it is. The merit pay line item does not include the manager. And like I said, there's confusion over that for me, and I'd like to get clarification on that. And I'm sure it wouldn't be fair to ask for that clarification at this moment. But it's another thing we need to deal with when we're having a meeting where the bums rush is not. But I purposely guys. passed out where I what I had. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't answer my question, or did that answer Mr. Pierce's question? And I'm well, it should answer, answer the question. Mine and Mr. Pierce's question, as well as Jenny's yet to be asked question. It should answer the question <laughs> on, who, on who is eligible. I'm for trying to go effort. fast, man. Mr. Jones, it should answer the question on who is eligible. For the merit raises, and you have not. the list. I went not. to the trouble of duplicating it for you. It does not, Madam Chair. As I said, there were targeted pay raises put in by the Board of Selectmen. Some of them went into the merit line item. Yet the merit line item is supposed to be for like a, you, know, uh, you know, not individuals, but for a group. At least that's what it was previously. And now some of that money is being allegedly targeted, but the target is not specified in the merit line item, thus giving rise to the confusion. The positions that are eligible for the merit increases. I didn't I ask that question. Well, I don't, 
I don't know where you're coming from at this point in time. I would like to, for Christy to come back and give us, when she is best prepared to do so, to give us an explanation on those points that I raised. You understand what I'm saying, right, Christy? Right, and in the budget, when you get to personnel administration, it's saying that, that might be that the ideal too... time. So when, okay. you're, when you're back then, right. be prepared. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Are we ready for the vote? No. On the town manager? No. no. Oh, I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My question is, and it's to you, 6.44 seems to be high to me. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough detail to comprehend it. Well, when I look at some of these raises here, they're in the 2% range, and this is 6.4, which seems to be high in today's world of mm -hmm. inflation, which is 1.5% yep. per year. Do we have any more detail under the wages on who got what and why? Um, yeah, if you look at the next page, it's showing under regular wages that the um, increase by, is by the Board of Selectmen, and it reflects a 3% increase for the town manager and the assistant town manager. So that accounts for the 6. The 0.44, I think, takes into consideration the increases that were given in uh, 17, or in 16, I'm sorry, yeah. in this quarter. So was the Board of Selectmen that voted the horizon? You're talking... The yes, there's town manager and the assistant town manager. Right. They put three percent in the seventeen budget, right? And that accounts for six of the six point four four that you're referring to. The other point four four, my guess, would be related to the. Um, if each person got three percent, how would that increase it by six point four? Wouldn't it just increase it by three point zero? Am I not doing the math right? Well, they ha they had increases in uh, two thousand and sixteen. Mm -hmm. So this is a double hit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. If not triple. In well, 16, they were the six right. The the 16 budget already included the raises no. that was were in addition no. to. No. No. I understand no. that, that was that no. was okay. Rescue us, Fred. For years, I've been asking the board of selectmen to put the in the budget for the succeed for the coming year an estimate of the amount of raises or the amount of money they wish to have for raises. Right. And for years, the selectmen have refused to do it. This year, they've done it. Okay, but. What they have done in years past is they have done an evaluation, which sometimes takes two or three months, it's very extensive, it's very exhaustive, and then they come back and they indicate what they're going to give for a raise to the manager and the assistant manager. Mm -hmm. And that is taken out of the existing budget. And that gets that's why you're confused, because there's no set amount set in the budget for that. They just declare it and take it. And and we've changed that process this year, so there is a set amount within this line item for up to a 3% raise for the manager and the assistant manager if selectmen wish to give it in 2017. Right. So you didn't give them any other raise for 2016? Yes, they did they give raises. raises. Yeah. But they not did. out of the merit. Not out of the merit. No, 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 that comes out of merit. Mr. It all comes Mar out of the bottom line. To your question. Well, that that answers Mr. Mar's Mar's question yeah. because it in was a broad base, what, 3% raise this year in, in July? July? Was that broad base? No. no. Effective no, no. April 1st. It was all, all the raises that the selectmen gave were effective April 1st of 2016. Mm -hmm. right. okay, they, that, that is the way the oh, system has always been worked. When they voted, it was in, for all non union employees in With July. a few exceptions. In July. Yeah, they waited until July. Was it a 3% raise? Uh, two. No, it was two. No, it was two. Two. It was so 2% raise yeah. for everybody that was non union. Except. Except. Except whoever we want to accept, I guess. <laughs> And and then we then we targeted them later on, like you saw. That is did. correct. Yeah. And so uh, Fred got a six percent raise right. uh, at the last meeting. The manager, the assistant manager, uh, retroactive to raise. April Fool's yeah. Day. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And the top manager got a three percent raise. The assistant. Uh, yeah. Assistant uh, retroactive to April Fool's Day, and th those numbers are part of the skewing that occurs when you compare yes. last year's budget to this year's budget actuals and so forth. Uh, so yeah, you have to kind of unpack all that which nobody ever does. Um, then they put 3% in for 2017, for right. which we've discussed with them. We said that's the way to do it. Have the money there. If you wish to give it, you give it. If you don't wish to give it, it's, it's not given. It goes to yeah. surplus. You note that the, the Board of Selectmen, which granted the 6% raise to Fred and 3% raise to the assistant town manager, voted 3 to 2 on that. There were two that were objecting to the process. Uh, and at a subsequent meeting, the... Uh, most selectmen created a subcommittee to do a wage analysis, a broad-based wage analysis, essentially. For the whole town? The whole town, including me. Yeah. Yes. As a matter of fact, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Well, as was pointed out earlier, three percent this year and then three percent next year. Well, all of a sudden, it's like six percent plus. Yeah, right. you keep this up, and you go five years, you get a twenty percent raise. Well, that's the reason why the reason probably the I'm, did I'm that. underestimating by design. Okay, pay attention. The reason the selectmen did that was because, in their opinion, the wages that are being paid. For instance, I'm the lowest paid manager in this end of the state. Okay. okay. Um, if you look at the other towns, which are much smaller than this and have much less to manage, okay, their their wages are in the one hundred and twenty-five to one hundred and forty-five thousand dollar range. Hmm. We're at one hundred and fourteen, mm -hmm. which is interesting. But how many of those towns actually have an assistant town manager? Uh, several. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm not aware of any of them. Okay. In fact, totally uh, ignorant on Seabrook that. Seabrook paid. To their manager gets paid more than the manager in Portsmouth. Yeah. But Seabrook doesn't have an assistant town manager. They have uh, yeah, they do have an assistant okay. town okay. manager. Okay, Ginny has a yeah. question. Ginny All right, I'm confused. So in when they when you got your budget that was approved in March, right. that didn't have any raises for these people. They never put any in. No, no. They didn't just, put in for just for the just for the non-union employees, with the exception of the manager and the assistant yeah. manager. So how did some other departments in here get five percent raises as well? They put it in, and you approved it at the budget last year. Okay, they came in. For instance, conservation, planning. Uh, they have the right to hire employees and right. pay them outside of the outside of the town pay right. system. The tax collector, the town clerk, the yeah. treasurer, all those are separate. Okay. So <laughs> when they put a raise in and it gets approved within the general budget of that particular department, they can have they, right. they get that raise. Yeah. So okay, but nobody put one in for you two. So now that's correct. Okay. So. How did all these people get all? This was none of these people on this list got approved for a raise last year. There was a merit pay. It did. There's a merit line. There's a merit this line. Our, yeah. In in the finance department. Yeah. Okay. Personnel. And pers under personnel. Yep. Uh, and there's two percent in there for every single employee that is a non-union employee, with the with the, excluding the exceptions. And that's not a merit raise. That's a two percent raise. Well. Well. Right. They call it a merit. That's what it's always been. And that, that's just the title of the account. Yeah, uh, distributed that for the last couple of years. And now, and there have been several years where they did where not they grant the entire yes. two percent. Right. Okay. Or didn't give to and certain people or certain positions. And okay. Stuff. And the reason April first is the date is because all of the union contracts end on March thirty first in a given year. Right. So it was logical to if you're going to do either you have your collective bargaining rolling over exactly. on April 1st and concurrently yeah. you want to kind of keep the non-union employees in the same type of cycle. So this merit raise is not tied into any performance evaluation? <coughs> not to this <coughs> All of the non-union employees are evaluated. Mm -hmm. They are all evaluated. Before they get the merit raise? Yes, that's okay. correct. Yeah, so the point of confusion is the same we had several years ago. Well, they're all maybe individually evaluated. They're all giving exactly the same 2%. Not it. always. No. Well, this year it was. They don't. This, this, this year, year they, they did. did. And last year? Right. No, I don't no, think No, they did not last year all get 2%. Okay, so. ladies and gentlemen. Well, we the year, well it, wasn't, it was the same number at that point. Tim. And the pre year previous to that, everyone got the same number, except the town planner, who got nothing. It's because it's calculated on total. Yeah, I understand. Okay. So everyone's equally meritorious. That's what Jenny and I Okay, were ladies and gentlemen, we, we have to be out of here by 10 o'clock. Well, we got to you know, quick, 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 to make mistakes and hurry yes, up. Yes, we've already lost three meetings because we got the budget late. Okay. I want to vote on the uh, town manager. Yes, 288, 487. In favor? Who made the motion? Who made the motion? Did you? Okay. I made it, Steve LaBranch and Henderson. It was okay. 3, 10, in 9, favor, 3, 7, right? <clears throat> yeah. In favor of the manager's account for 2017. Okay. Um, Bridal, um, Barnes, uh, Kravitz, Henderson, Woolsey, Pluff, LaBranch, Ladd, and Augustine. And Every, uh, show your hands for not approving. Okay, Marer and Jones and Lapham and Pierce. Okay, now, next. Okay.